Hey guys, what's up? Just got done doing chores. Um, gonna start working on my project that I started working on yesterday. It's gonna be a permanent ice shack when it's done, hopefully. Um, basically, this frame is a calf cage that you would put in the bed of a pickup and you can put calves in there. And, uh, you know, we don't ever use it because we have horse trailers and we got a calf trailer that we hook onto the back of the four wheeler. So, kind of get do a quick walk around, um, get some video of me welding. Got a little tripod there that's for my spotting scope that my girlfriend got me for Christmas. Um, got my welding gloves and my auto darkening welding helmet that I got for Christmas also so you know put them to use yesterday I was just using our old welding helmet right there it doesn't have a, a headband on it <clears throat> so you have to hold it in place and that sucks but anyway I'll show you what I did so far on it um, When I pulled it out with the loader yesterday, this piece that runs there disconnected from that side, so I had to weld that right away. And then basically I took the torch, cut off chunks here, here, same on the other sides, down there and down there, and one here and one here. Basically, this didn't have the frame on the on the back like it does on the front. So I'm gonna put tin on this. So I needed some to support it back here. So those pieces that I cut out basically got welded up and I got some welding to do up here. So I'll do a video on that. Or this will, that will be part of the video. Um, like I said, I cut out pieces here. And this is all going to be tin on the outside. And for the floor, I'm going to have to weld some pieces. And then put a wood board, cut some holes out for the fishing holes. Um, not sure how I'm going to fill that gap yet. If I'm just going to go straight down with tin or if I'm going to weld some pieces across on the bottom. And then when I get the floor in, I add these. I have four extra pieces but two are gonna be for shells here just gonna weld them from end to end and angle same on that side they can be used for seats or for shells for you know fish finder fish camera whatever and then there's these pieces here that come out a little ways on both sides so by the door I'll probably just put a board in here when everything's set up put the board across people can use it as a bench seat there so yeah that's basically all I've got done I still got to get tin for it and probably some metal pieces I'm just gonna touch up on the frame here see if I can't find some pieces for the floor to weld across I know I have bo wide boards that are about an inch thick so that would be my floor but until I get the framing done for the floor, I can't really put the board in. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, basically this is just for a spotting scope, but it flips up here and I can set the camera that, down in there and then just put rubber bands on it to make sure it holds. If I can get the rubber bands off. that's from the barn we got some calves that we weaned and uh, 
they're still kind of finicky and we've had some coyotes in the, the yard at night so try to get them to calm down but we'll get well in here Well guys, it's going to be the video part one of this build, um, probably when I get the flooring in and those shelves welded on, those pieces welded on, uh, I'll probably do another video and then probably a third video when I get it all completed, so uh, see you guys later.